the Katie Vick storyline was it was Stephanie and Vince and maybe Triple H that came up with the whole thing. So there's got to be a little bit of weirdness well, we're there, all too. weird. Yeah. Like I said, uh, yeah. but 2,000 Vince, hours of television. It's only a matter of time before necrophilia rears its ugly head. But Vince wanted to do an incest angle with Stephanie that's on the McMahon DVD. Which and is, then she shot it down, right? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah thankfully. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> I think as well, like we were talking about this the other day, is that there must be some strange catharsis of airing all these things. Because uh, yeah. can we talk about the Jeff Jarrett, Kurt Angle thing? Well, yeah, yeah, go ahead. But they're sure. really friendly with one another now. That yeah, they, honestly. They, they had it out in the ring. They went through that tough period, you know. I mean, I mean, where Jeff left. And that's essentially when my, uh, you know, whole TNA thing just bottomed out because I yeah. went through like a almost a year-long build to the thing with Jeff. And then all of a sudden it was... Whoosh, and I had, you know, nothing. And I just took, I took over Jeff's bookings and I did so much more wrestling than I... Uh, I wanted to do, and it never really got back on track. Uh, but several months later, I walked into a dressing room, and it was like the uh, it's like the oddest thing is, it's like Karen is uh, bouncing Kurt's new baby on her lap, and there's Kurt's you know new fiance, and she's playing with Jeff's kids. And then when it comes time for the match, they're all sitting out there together. And I told wow. Karen, I'm like, geez, maybe I need to get divorced. Just so I can get along this well with my wife, you know, it was, it is this kind of stunning thing. I mean, what happened after like him and Hogan? Because he said like, obviously I get to express myself physically, and like, do they like shake hands at the end and they get it out of their system? Vince and Hogan? Yeah, I, I, I wasn't there for that, but I know I, I was backstage, you know, after like Stephanie would slap her, you know, uh, Linda, and then they would cry and hug and. And there was a, a, a wow. time, I don't know if you guys have heard this story, in, in Canada, you, you, you realize the significance of Linda running for U.S. Senate. I mean, yeah. uh, and she, she may, she's running again. She might very well win. Uh, I had an, un, you know, it was an unwritten understanding that I would go into Vince's office, like, what, this is 2000, before, you know, before I left. Now I don't feel like I can ever go in and, and scarf free food from Vince, but he would always have like the fillets and, you know, he had like the best food. And so I'd come back and get a, a fillet almost every, uh, TV taping. And the one time, for some reason it was Chinese food. Uh, Shane had just taken that huge bump off like, uh, some ridiculous height, you know, and he was okay, but it was still kind of shocking if you're a mom. And I walked in expecting to grab my, my free food and, uh, and, uh, and I saw Linda there and she was, you know, crying quietly and the, wow. that in retrospect the thing to do would have been just to excuse myself and walk out and instead i said i'll just be a minute <laughs> <laughs> and i uh loaded up my plane i was like okay, okay, thank you thank you very much and I, oh wow hey <laughs> can, we give, fantastic. can we give tickets away andrea no we can't no. we can't do like a phone-in question we can give one, one pair. pair of tickets for what tonight or for another night how do we do that tonight another night uh, yeah, so we'll give away one pair. Why the hell not? All right, 514-790-0990. I have to answer a question. What's the question, Mick? What's, what's the question? I thought, actually, who did Shane <laughs> take the big bump with? Let me think. Uh, guys, let's come up with a good question. about. I was going to go with what country did I lose my ear in, but nice. that's pretty. Uh, uh, all right, we'll go with that. Uh, what country did I lose my ear in? Oh, very good. And, of course, <laughs> the match with. Vader, the monster Vader. Did you I, talk to Vader on I Monday? I did, I did, and I, he was really flattered to find out that uh, he has worked his way into my uh, show. Uh, really? I, you know what? One thing, one of the significant differences. Uh, there's so many parallels between comedy and wrestling, but when I did uh, my my wrestling promos, like once they were done, they were done. Like I, I tried hard not to repeat myself, and then you find in comedy you stumble onto something. And instead of discarding it, I mean, I really thought at one time that the sign of a, a good comic was being able to do a new show every 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 set time out. And then that's kind of cheating the people because you're not giving them stories that are as good as they can be. So you kind of stumble into something, you see what works, you polish it up. And I have, I mean, it's the Velvet Sky motorboating story, if people have heard it alluded to. But I found a way to like to work it in and play off international terrorism. And then there's a little ode to vader in there and it's like kind of become my uh if if there's such a thing as my set piece it's certainly my favorite story to talk about that's just a story that i think will live forever in the history of pro wrestling at one time (laughs) i did i did call her a couple months ago about possibly doing a cameo here in montreal well Uh, she's uh i I think done with tna now No, what happened i uh heard she was done i think she got her release 
I know Angelina Love is done, and I think Velvet is also done with TNA. So, jeez, but see how much we seek out to find out about this industry. 